All right, this is episode 20-something. I forget which one. My good buddy, real life, also comic, Rob Dridzi, everybody. How's it going? Hey, Sam. How's it going, <laughs> buddy? I'm doing great. Thanks for having me, man. Yeah, no problem. No problem, man. So you just redid your porch? That's pretty cool. <laughs> I don't know if that's podcast-worthy of shit to talk about. but <laughs> Well, I mean... <laughs> It was hard to do it because I had to redo the construction all by myself and I didn't really have any um, kind of guide to go by because you just buy the wood, right? And then you make it happen. So there was, a, there was a few times that there was like some mistakes made along the way and then the next day I had to go and like fix them. But it was way cheaper than getting someone to do it for you and when it wasn't snowing, it was definitely worth it. Yeah, <laughs> word, bro, word. All right, yeah. so, tell, so did you listen to the, the Joe Rogan podcast with Elon Musk, bro? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. What'd you think? Oh, man, okay, so, I mean, okay, fair warning, before we even get into that, I've been going down a bunch of, like, um, conspiracy theory rabbit holes lately in the last couple of days. So first off, Elon Musk is probably already a robot. Like he's definitely a cyborg. Yeah, he seemed like he was acting super weird, like a robot. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he has Neuralink 100% already. Like it was cool to hear that that it might be able to like fix brain damage and other like motor skills and like limb function and vision and things. But at the same point in time. I mean, I don't know. It's it's a weird conspiracy to kind of play with. But what are the chances that we're all being told to like stay home and like force ourselves to use technology because that's the next step? You know what I mean? Oh, okay, that'd be crazy, man. Yeah, like a week ago, they said that uh, there was a bunch of UFO encounters with the U.S. Air Force, and then they just kind of declassified them, and no one said fucking shit about them, right? Yeah, it's so weird, man. Fuck, I don't even know what's going yeah. on anymore. So, yeah, current state of affairs. The world's in a pandemic. No one's allowed to fucking see other human beings. If you're outside, you wear a mask like a doctor getting bananas at the grocery store. <laughs> Next thing you know, Elon Musk, he's a robot. I'm trying to turn other people into robots. And then just placing on top of the cake, aliens exist, and there's now a black hole that's visible with the naked eye. Holy shit, wait, the black hole thing's real too? Or did you just well, throw that I don't in? know if it's real. I'm not an astronomer, but I can read it at grade 12 level. So they say that there's <laughs> black hole. I'm going to fucking believe them. I didn't hear about that is what I'm saying. Is that, like, who said that? When, when did this happen? Oh, I read, it on, uh, I read it online maybe two days ago. They said that the closest like um, black hole is now visible by the naked eye but apparently the reason that it's visible is because other orbits and rotations from constellations are now being slightly skewed by it oh which so again you, i don't know what that so you I mean, can't really see the black the hole you see that other stars have moved well sad but i don't want to fuck around but how do you see a black hole in black space you know what i mean i don't know fuck you're the one that said you could see a black hole that's what i was asking and had to get clarified <laughs> well they're saying it's by the by the skew and orbit of other planets and shit just so you know people in the comments are gonna hammer me for not knowing what the fuck i'm talking about if anybody watches this still this is gonna be pretty deep <laughs> <laughs> have you watched any of the episodes Oh, every single one. Are you kidding me? Actually, actually? <laughs> no, not even close. I, um, but I did look at bits and pieces of a couple of them. You yeah. and Taylor are hilarious, buddy. Thanks, man. Yeah, that one has the most views. It has like almost 200 views or something, which is Jesus pretty sick. Jesus Christ. Are you still mining out subscribers? Is that still a thing? <laughs> no, not really, because, uh, yeah, it's like um, I don't want to get my account deleted, right? So I'd rather just right. like... I think like posting a lot works too and like posting like a, a long video and then having premiere now so it kind of like goes live or people think it's so, live. So let me ask you a question. If someone was like, you could have the last 50 days of your life back, but you couldn't spend it trying to get subscribers on YouTube, what would you do? Like, What would you do in those 50 days? I don't know. Probably not much. Just 
work out maybe or like yeah. play more ukulele songs post more videos and stuff because like i just wait so like can i not even post any videos or like you can fucking do whatever you want what i wish i did is i wish i uh learned a new language in this off time i think that would have been useful you know what i mean you still can bro why not well you could start today well i guess i could start today but i'm going back to work soon i'm not fucking around anymore oh word shit well, you can yeah. still learn it on your off time. If you really want to know another language, just go ahead and do I guess. that. I'm, I'm thinking Chinese is the way to go, personally. I don't know. A lot of people are learning English. Like, all around the world, it's like people speak a little bit of English a lot of the time. It's crazy. Yeah, I already speak a bit of English. I need something else. <laughs> Word. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I, I think the time off that everyone's gotten has been pretty decent. I think that a lot of people are going fucking crazy. I mean, I don't know how you feel, but like I was in the grocery store today. I was picking up dog and cat food and shit. And like there were people in there. This one guy, he might as well have been dressed in a scuba suit. Like they're afraid to look at sunlight. Like they need to be head to toe dressed like powder. Like they're all worried. And don't get me wrong. I guess I'm kind of worried, but not to that level. You know what I mean? Mm hmm. Yeah, it's crazy, man. I don't, I don't really go outside though, so I don't see that shit. <laughs> For my parents, you're gonna too. say you not left the uh, the powers compound or what? Not really. I go for like I go for a drive every once in a while just to uh, make sure the car like still works. Yeah, know? yeah, yeah. And that's about it. <laughs> yeah, me too. Yeah, it's fucking weird, man. I mean, and then the strangest part is like my birthday was on Tuesday. And I had people come by to the like to my curb to wish me a happy birthday. It felt like hilarious. I was a part of the shittiest drug deal. Like they showed up and left something on like the fucking stairs and then ran back to the car. <laughs> and then I come down from the porch and grab it and wave at them. So you literally won't even like hang out with anybody, eh? Well, it's weird, right? So like I'm not worried if I get it. I'll be honest with you. Mm -hmm. I've lived a life where I could probably get COVID twice and be okay. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I know some unsavory characters, but at the same time, I mean, my father's a little bit older, right? He has some underlining conditions and, you know, my brother has an autoimmune disease. So I actually want to see these people again. And if I'm the problem, that's a problem, right? Right, right. Mm -hmm. That's the hard part, really, in my opinion. Yeah, but once you get it and then you recover, you're not going to give it to anybody. I don't know. Maybe it's it. like syphilis. Maybe you can get it twice. I don't know how it works. <laughs> Fucking I don't either, you know? Yeah, man. That's so funny, dude. Fucking, uh, what are your thoughts on, like, uh, comedy and shit? What, like, what's it going to be like in the future? Well, let's be honest. Um, in the last four minutes, I've been the funniest I've been in the last 50 days. And you weren't that funny. <laughs> no, I wasn't. It's, uh, I, think it's a, I think it's an art form. I think it's going to be in demand more so when this is over than before. I think in, if you want to look at it from an economics perspective, there's not going to be those thousand seat arenas that are going to be filled up anymore. Not even like 500 seat theaters. Like we're going to go, everyone's going to go back to clubs. So it's going to be like a bump down effect. I mean, I've never really gotten into the whole video side of it. But I think once for Niagara, when it opens up again, it's definitely going to be, you know, one comedian doing stand up for another eight open micers that aren't afraid of COVID and two family members. Yeah. And then maybe by December, it'll be about 50 people in a club, hopefully. I think it actually kind of restarts a lot of people's careers. You know what I mean? Yeah, that sucks that it, it, you think it's going to take that long. And that if it does take that long or even longer, then that's so shitty, man. I never thought, like, even when all this shit started, for some reason I thought it was going to be like a month or two, you know what I mean, at most. Yeah, the hard part, I don't, I don't think there's going to be a shortage of comedians. I think every person that's ever been behind a mic is gonna want to get behind a mic and give their spin on the last two months. Yeah, yeah. I think there's gonna be a shortage of real live, like 
viewers. Like there's not going to be people sitting in a club watching. you. Yeah. Yeah. I get you were saying that for sure. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck man. So like, would you do uh, one of these online comedy shows? I, I mean, maybe the only problem is for me personally, I like to bring a lot of energy when I'm on stage. I want to look people in the eyes and yell at them a little bit. Mm-hmm. I feel like you can't do that online, you know? You could just, like, change your style a little bit, you know what I mean? I don't know. Because, like, there is, like, uh, Zoom rooms where it's, like, you can see all your audience members, kind of, and they can laugh and shit. And then if someone starts heckling or whatever, you just mute them. Yeah, I guess I'd try it out. I mean, maybe, you know? Have you um, Have you written anything new? I'm sorry? Uh, no, I haven't really written anything. Uh, just been, like, podcasts and hardcore and shit. I don't know. Nice, it's, like, nice. I kind of feel like I don't even know, uh, like, if I'll ever be able to do, like, stand-up like I used to. So it's almost like, what's the Much point? Chiddly? Part. <laughs> 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 no, I-, I think, you know what? I think there'll be a lineup of comedians that'll try to do something the size of Dunn Street Grill. Right, right. That would be sick, actually. Kind of like if even something like that would be sick. Just like oh, I'd pay ten twenty people. bucks right now to go tell jokes to ten drunk assholes. I really would. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I pay two bucks a minute. Give me a five minute set. I don't yeah. even give a fuck. <laughs> All right, I'll try to set that up. <laughs> That'd be funny. <laughs> Start a business where comedians come pay to tell jokes to people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah i mean i don't know today in the grocery store i saw a couple people i wanted to crack a joke with but i couldn't even tell if they were smiling they had their masks on you know what i mean mm-hmm. yeah man fuck it's crazy dude just seeing like all the people with masks and stuff like even when i went for a drive and stuff it's just like people riding their bikes they got masks on well that's a good way to pass the fuck out you know what i mean <laughs> you're already breathing in your own air why don't you just uh you know smother yourself with a pillow while you're riding your bike yeah yeah and you know that's the other problem though like people are afraid of this thing and i'm not saying that you shouldn't be you know scared or concerned but if you're on a bike presumably near nobody else mm-hmm. you're gonna be breathing a little bit hard anyway I, I think it's not a good idea to passively strangle yourself with a piece of fabric yeah, for sure. It's weird, man, because, like, who knows, like, uh, how well that shit even works, right? They say, like, masks, the those, like, uh, masks and shit only really help if you have it from you spreading it to other people. Yeah, well, who the fuck is running next to your bicycle? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> right? You know what I mean? hmm I don't know. The one that kills me the most is people that are in their cars with their mask on. Yeah, that like, what the hell? <laughs> like, what kind of fuck are you? You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> it drives me crazy. I, I can't handle that bullshit. I mean, That's but funny. don't get me wrong. Yes, it's serious. People are dying and it's sad. But at the same time, I mean, if you're afraid of you catching coronavirus in your car by yourself, you've already got it then, you idiot yeah 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 true <laughs> well they be, they could be going to like drive through windows or something i don't know <laughs> yeah i guess i guess you know poke a hole so you can drink through your straw yeah <laughs> exactly Sons of bitches. the worst one is the guy that's driving my neighbor does this all the time he's such a retard he's driving he has his mask around his his ears and his chin so his mouth and nose are exposed but then he's smoking a cigarette anyway Oh my god! <laughs> what what do you what, what what are you trying to do here, huh? That's hilarious. All right, well, I, I've asked a bunch of people this on the podcast, so I feel like I should ask you. Uh, what are your thoughts on ghosts, bro? You believe in ghosts? Oh, that's a good question. So, okay, so let's take this back to a personal experience. Um, I used to work at the syndicate restaurant on Lundy's Lane. I used to be a bartender there. And it used to be Niagara's Best Brewery beforehand. And they uh, they said that the place was haunted in the upstairs room. And uh, I worked there for about a year, like a full like calendar year. 
And there was a few times where I would be up in that room, like cleaning shit at the end of the night. And you could feel the presence that someone was maybe watching you or there, but you, you never really saw, saw anything. Mm -hmm. But then, um, there's this girl, uh, Monica shout out to her. She's the one that got me the whiskey for my birthday. Thank you, Monica. She, uh, in her house, she bought a house and they had to tell her as a disclaimer that the woman that lived in the house before her killed herself in the garage. Holy shit. Fuck. That's yeah. Crazy. And her dog follows shit in the house where there isn't anything. Mm -hmm. So she thinks that the ghost is in her house and that her dog can sense it and follow it around. Damn, bro. I didn't expect you to be a, a ghost believer. <laughs> well, I didn't say, listen, I didn't say I believe him. Because, I mean, I'll leave the window of doubt open. Mm -hmm. I mean, let's see. So this week there was a confirmation that there's unidentified flying objects. Um, there's a virus that's sweeping the nation. Elon Musk's a fucking cyborg. Yeah, maybe. Maybe, maybe there's ghosts. Yeah, <laughs> I guess. But it could be like a, a million other things too, right? It could just be like energies or fucking demons or I don't yeah. even know what it could but be. Right? Maybe that's the same thing, right? Like, I mean, the word ghost is a very broad term in my opinion. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying I'm, I'm an expert in this field either. But I mean, it maybe it doesn't have to be a person that died and then wants to come back and scare people. You okay over there, buddy? You died? <laughs> yeah. The ghost got you? You getting choked by a ghost right now? I think so. Ah. <laughs> Go on, bro. <laughs> so anyway, um, and then, okay, so here's the most believable story I've ever had of a ghost story. My current boss... He used to have a house in Niagara Falls. It was a wartime two bedroom house. And he used to say that on certain nights, there would be a shadowed figure with a hat that would be staring through the front window. And it would, the shadow would go into the house, up the stairs and disappear into one of the bedrooms. And I always thought he was full of shit. And then maybe 12 years later, I run into this guy again, who's now currently my boss. And uh, his, a colleague of both of ours, who used to be his babysitter, like used to babysit his kids, mm -hmm. confirmed the story at a completely separate event. So I talked to her without him even being around. And she told me the exact same story. So to me, that's the most convincing ghost story that I've ever heard. Damn. That is crazy. I wonder what like could have caused that. Um, that's such like a vivid thing to see, right? Fuck. It's weird that like if if all this shit is happening like that, how come no one can ever get like something like that on film? Does it not come out on film? You know, we we all have camera phones now and shit, right? I don't know. Maybe. Um, let me let me switch the question around and ask you a similar question. Mm -hmm. If ghosts were real and you became a ghost, what would your haunting style be? Um, I don't know if I would want to haunt. Like, what's the fucking point, right? Like, I would just like fucking chill and watch Netflix or whatever they're doing. I wouldn't want to cause any shit. <laughs> You're the fucking laziest ghost there is. Eh? <laughs> well, what's like the point of haunting? Like, like it was like in the movies and shit. They always have like unfinished business, or they're super evil. But like, I'm not like an evil person. So like, if I died, I'm not all of a sudden gonna start terrorizing people for no reason. Yeah. You know? I don't know. I think I'd be a helpful ghost. I would like cook your food for you. You just, you know like, I mean? start the Go stove the and shit. <laughs> yeah, I'd, like, preheat the oven, make a pasta sauce, you know what I mean? You can't just, like, fucking 
then you're still a human, pretty much, if you can do all that shit. Ghosts can't just make what food, bro. You're a ghost. Yeah, but ghosts can't just, like, fucking make that shit. You can, like, make a light flicker or something, you know what I mean? Yo, if you can make a light flicker, you can open a can of pasta sauce. That's all I'm saying. I don't think so. Because it's just, like, a light flicker is for, like, I don't know. I Actually, I can make a can of pasta sauce, but I can't make a light flicker. Well, I'm, I might be able to. There you go. Maybe you're even better than a ghost. Mm-hmm. Word, bro. What about magic? You think magic is possible or real? Um, I think it depends on what you what you would classify as magic. For instance, anything that's like sleight of hand or like uh, misdirection, obviously, is real. Mm-hmm. I think if you can, so if you can take someone and make them believe something's happening that's not really happening then yes, by that definition, you can do magic. Well, obviously, but if you're gonna yeah, tell yeah. Me, if you're going to tell me you can pull a rabbit out of a fucking hat that never had that rabbit in that hat before, I don't know about that. So, like, people, like, those guys that, like, focus really hard and they make, like, a, a crumpled up piece of paper catch on fire, you think that's possible or you think it's all bullshit? Oh, No. <laughs> no no i don't i think uh i think people that um that do that shit are just taxing stupid people but you say that it's possible ghosts are are real but it's not possible the magic's real yeah yeah and and this this is why i think you know if you want to play that game i think there might be another dimension right. there might be another one that maybe we can't see but every now and again, something from one side to the other maybe, you know, slips through as transparency. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. My theory is if you can uh, look at a piece of paper and it catches on fire, how do you not rule the fucking world? Uh, well, maybe that's all they can do. They can, because it's like, I don't know, what are you going to do with that fucking skill, bro? How does that help you rule the world? <laughs> you know, you like, set forests on fire. You can set armies on fire. You'd be the most powerful person. No, but they have to focus really, really, really hard to just get that little tiny spark, which you could easily just cause with a lighter. You would be part of a military special forces team immediately. <laughs> Maybe they, they are, would find but... out how to intensify that. If it took sawing your toes off with dental floss, that's what they'd do. I what mean, you... put it this way. Fortune tellers, right? Mm-hmm. How come they're all not rich? I don't know, man. I bet Apparently you they all know some weird up, shit, though. I don't know. It's a fucked up world we live in. How come fucking Donald Trump is the president? You know what I mean? I never would have guessed that shit was possible. Oh, that's easy. A, he's a game show host. B, when he went in there, he debated in a style that no normal politician would. They, you know, had the illusion of self-respect. He just started hitting like a bully in a playground. And then more on top of that, he told people that he was going to drain the swamp. and He was going to be a different, you know, he was going to be something that no one's ever seen before. Mm -hmm. Granted, people voted on him, but now he's in office. And to be honest with you, I don't think he has much room to move in any direction. Do you think he's going to win again? It depends who runs against him. I mean, Joe Biden is a dementia patient who keeps smelling children. I wouldn't <laughs> sit next to him on a bus. But, you know, Barack Obama endorses him and says, you know, he's going to have real good people around him. So they're going to prop him up like weekend at Bernie's. On the other side... You know, you have, uh, who is it, uh, Governor of New York right now, Como. He's looking pretty good. You know, he's getting a lot of spotlight. New York got hit real hard with the pandemic. He's starting to act like a real leader. That might put some wind in his sails. I believe he's a Democrat, so he'll go against Trump. I really think most of the people that are eligible to vote, they're either going to vote for Trump because they like him or for anybody else because they hate him. I mean, this is actually like the only time that you could be a presidential candidate and your whole platform is, well, I'm not that guy. 
who would you vote for if you were uh, living in the States? Um, if it was a few months ago where a bunch of candidates were still available, I would probably take Tulsi Gabbard. But would you vote for Trump or the other guy? I would have voted for Tulsi Gabbard. She's a Democrat. The but reason say, I would have voted say for it's her, not her. Okay, I'll, I'll let you finish. Go ahead. <laughs> well, the only reason I'd say that is because she worked in the military. She was, um, she was in the medical unit and she actually toured and she wants to roll back the industrial complex. She doesn't really want the military industrial complex of needless wars to continue. And I think that's actually good for the world that would uh, cool down the global kind of uh, aggression. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, on the other side, since she's been chopped out as well as mostly anyone that's actually cognitive, I think you're in a rock between, you're stuck between a rock and a hard place. You have Donald Trump, who's crazy. And then on the other hand, you have Joe Biden, who's, I mean, literally losing his mind. So would you just not vote or would you, what would you do out of those two? I fucking, I would sell my vote to a legal Mexican. <laughs> He's just kidding I mean, for the record. <laughs> Don't shut down my YouTube channel, please. Oh, yeah. Ha, ha. I'm a comedian. It's all jokes. Just jokes, folks. Just jokes. No, I, I think you're in a very uh, hard spot right there. Because I think that on one side, you know, um, Donald Trump, like his personality or don't like his personality, he has definitely pushed initiatives. But then you have a guy like Joe Biden, who's been uh, a mean for his whole vice presidency. And now if he wants to run for president, he has to have other people prop him up because he can't spell his name with a fucking crayon. Is that who you want to run? You have 350 million people in your country. You can't pick two other people? I know, it's crazy, man. It's weird because there are so many like smart people out there. It's not like, like I don't know. The it's problem is the smart people are too smart to take the job. But that's who we need to take the job. You know what I mean? Fuck. It's weird, man. Maybe it needs to change into like a council or something. I don't fucking know. Well, you might be, you might not be wrong. I mean, again, conspiracy theory, but there's been a theory pushed out there that this pandemic can get people to maybe the chance where we have a global, singular, unifying governing body. And what would you think about that? Um, I would say that the people that have to run it would be, uh, I don't know, scientists, engineers, people that went to college because they were smart, not because their parents knew somebody. Right. You know, if, if you had <laughs> the 12 smartest people in the world run the world, I don't know, maybe it would be a better, like, give it a shot. What's the worst that could happen? Well, just because they're the smartest doesn't mean that they would uh, have the best intentions for the world, right? They could still just make it better for them. And they could just have tons of dope shit. Like fucking Bill Gates is like super smart, right? Maybe. Mm -hmm. I don't really know. But uh, fucking... Yeah, I'd argue he's pretty intelligent. Yeah, he just like has a bunch of super nice shit for himself, right? Where it's like... And I guess he does, like, I don't really know, but I, I hear that he does do, like, charity shit or whatever, too. Yeah, he's pretty, uh, philanth he's a philanthropist for sure. But at the same time, he's pushing really hard for a vaccine. And then it gets to the media where now half of them think that he's trying to create a one world order where he's microchipping people. And then the other side says, you know, he's doing the right thing and he's, you know, going to come up with the next best uh, vaccine. It's going to be better than the polio vaccine, but you can't believe anything that you hear nowadays. Yeah. I actually really like Elon Musk though, man. I don't know. He's, he's cool. He might be a robot. I don't fucking know, but <laughs> he's a cool guy. See, I feel like he's a robot programmed to act cool. Maybe. You know what I mean? Yeah. When he talks, he shoots his eyebrow up. He does the head nod, right? He, <laughs> makes some, he makes some things that he says and then goes, yeah. You know, his mannerisms. He, he seems, 
either like he's just a really cool, extremely smart, normal guy, or he's programmed. He doesn't seem normal at all to me, just because fucking like getting rid of all his stuff. You know what I mean? That's that's fucking crazy. It's like. He's, oh, see, that to me made a lot of sense. That's dope. Yeah, it made sense to me too because he just wants to focus so hard on getting to Mars or like focusing on work. It's like, like a robot would, you know what I mean? It sounds oh, like... Oh, no, no, no. He took it from a completely different perspective in my opinion. He said he wanted to get rid of all the stuff he owns because he doesn't want to have any attack vectors against them, which means he doesn't want anybody to be able to use the things that he has and likes as leverage against himself. I thought that he said he did like he didn't want like those distractions essentially. Well, not distractions to him as in like, oh, I can't build this rocket to Mars. I got to go play in my 17 houses. It was more like if I don't own 17 houses, then people can't come after me for the things I own. Well, was he really afraid of people coming after him? I don't know. I don't know the life that guy lives, but I bet you. He's had many conversations with many unsavory people that have a lot of power. Maybe, yeah. Hmm. Well, if you can send a rocket to Mars, you can probably build sharks with lasers on their heads, and I'm sure someone out there wants it. <laughs> They're not fucking bugging Elon Musk about it, though. Like, he's, he's so powerful himself just because the fact that he is a billionaire, right? And like you were saying, like... It, a billionaire has like a negative connotation to it now it's like at, we think that they're all evil but you know they're maybe some of them aren't so bad oh sure i agree with you i think just because you have money doesn't make you a bad person but i also think if you have money and the means and a team behind you that you can accomplish great things the temptation of other people to extort you for evil is a lot higher word bro word for sure <laughs> I don't know if you get deep on this podcast but we're going deep today buddy i think we should just end it on that i think we've been talking for a while i kind of need a smoke <laughs> all right well thanks for having me buddy yeah bro you don't have anything you want to plug do you where can people find you if they want more Rob Durinzi in their life? Uh, right now, you can currently find me at my house working on my porch and uh, front lawn. Uh, in addition to that, I believe I did a couple episodes of Checkmates with you and Dave Green. Mm -hmm. Check those out. Um, as soon as comedy clubs open, you'll find me there again. Um, if by chance I get invited to one of these comedy Zoom things, you can see me bomb there. <laughs> I think that's all I got for you folks listen if we're going to be tied up in this thing for any longer here's my public service announcement stop getting bed sores sitting on the couch and jerking off and doing nothing make a plan learn a skill clean your fucking driveway do something start a YouTube channel maybe even that start a YouTube channel just quit wasting your days okay all right. Thanks, buddy. You're the man. I really appreciate you for doing this shit. Sad powers. I love you so much. Love you too, buddy. Peace. Peace.